Hello, my name is Bash and this is the SpeedyB Adapter 2. The Adapter 2 from SpeedyB allows you to completely configure or update your flight controller using any Android or iOS device. So it's perfect for those with no access to a computer or those in the field tweaks to your PIDs. The Adapter 2 works over Wi-Fi, which one-ups the original SpeedyB adapter as that was Bluetooth. Other improvements include the fact that this comes ready assembled, unlike the Adapter 1, and includes an XT60 connector and PH2 connector, making it useful to quickly configure any quad using their battery, from tiny whoops to long range 6S beasts. On the other end of the Adapter 2, you will find two micro USB ports, one to configure your FC, and the other serves as a handy stow point for the other end of the surprisingly high quality included cable. This turns your SpeedyB into a rather fetching dongle or keyring. Although a note, on earlier models such as this one, the outside heat shrink incorrectly labels this micro USB port as the one you need to plug in to configure your FC. This is not the case, it is actually the other one. So if you're pulling your hair out trying to get your adapter to work, try swapping which micro USB port you're plugged into. On the other side of the device, there is an LED to tell you the status of the adapter too. Solid red means it's receiving power from your chosen power source. Flashing red means your flight controller has been detected, but the device isn't connected to Wi-Fi. Blinking green means only the Wi-Fi is connected and no flight controller is detected. And a solid green LED means your flight controller and Wi-Fi are both connected and you're ready to start configuring. To use the adapter to, the first thing you need to do is download the SpeedyB app, which is available on Android and iOS. If you already have the app, it's worth checking that you have the most up-to-date version. Plug your LiPo into either the XT60 or PH2 connector, which will power up the device. Then go to your Wi-Fi tab on your phone and select the Wi-Fi network that begins with SB. Once connected, you should have a green blinking LED indicator on the side of the adapter. Now plug one end of the cable into the adapter and the other into your flight controller. That flashing green indicator LED should now be a solid green. At this point, you can open the SpeedyB app, click on the Wi-Fi button in the bottom left corner, accept the connection, and boom, you're ready to wirelessly configure your rig. If, however, like me, you have the very useful SpeedyB app updated and ready to go, but encounter this notification, you will need to enable the SpeedyB app to see your location in the app's permissions. Now, why this is the case, I'm unsure, but that along with the mislabeled USB ports led to my first experience with the SpeedyB Adapter 2 being a frustrating one. However, now I've been using it for a while, I'm happy to report that it does have its uses. I'm very used to the using the SpeedyB app anyway, and as one of my quads has the Bluetooth antenna built into the FC, I've always wanted to be able to wirelessly configure my other quads, as I recognise not only the safety advantages, but I also don't want to have to stay bent down every time I want to plug in my phone. And sure, a longer OTG cable may solve this problem, but the SpeedyB Adapter 2 is a far more elegant solution. So in summary, the SpeedyB Adapter 2 is a useful, good looking and well built bit of kit, which once you've got over the hurdles of software and red herring plugs, is very easy to use and allows you to set up your quad without the need of a computer. However, in an ideal world, I'd have a Bluetooth antenna built into all my flight controllers, as that would give me the fully hands-free experience that I'm actually after. That being said, that's kind of a tall order to ask that from like AIOs and 20x20 stacks, that kind of functionality is really only available in 30 by 30 stacks but maybe the tech has kind of a long way to go before it can be crammed into that kind of form factor so having this thing in my pocket along with the whoop battery is probably the closest i'm going to get to a hands-off pid and rate tuner experience i will definitely be keeping it in or on my flight bag for future use a huge thank you to makerfire for supplying me the speedy b adapter 2 for review check out my affiliate link in the description below to help support my channel and to get yourself some awesome deals on drone tech if you like this video leave a like or a comment below and i'll be seeing you again real soon